Ah, oh, Jesus, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, God. Right, morning fellas, welcome back to another Villa on Tour video today. We've got Leicester away. Um, obviously our last game was the cup final, we haven't played in the Premier League for a couple of weeks. Um, Man City was a decent performance, we only kind of woke up at 2-0 down. If you haven't already checked out that video, please go and do that. But the performance was kind of there, the huddle at the end was nice to see. If we can take that, you know, second half performance into, you know, the rest of the Premier League games, who knows, can we do it? I mean, we've, we're what, two points off safety with two games in hand, so... Our fixtures aren't the kindest coming up. We really do need to start picking up wins. And the place that you don't really want to go is the King Power, because Leicester have been fantastic this season, let's be honest. Um, they haven't won a Premier League game for over a month, maybe a month and a half, something like that. Here comes Aston Villa, lads, because you probably get three points tonight, but it's not looking good. I don't think any any Villa fan is really confident, let's be honest. I think, I think I'll probably take a draw on paper, but we just can't afford to keep on just drawing games. We need to start picking up wins, and I don't think that's going to happen tonight. I'll be interested to see what he does with the team. Obviously, will he stick with the four at the back? That's probably what I do. Elmo coming in. Who knows? Um, but yeah, just a quick shout out to the second channel as well. Um, we're going to Rangers on Thursday and we loads of other games on there. It's like a neutral channel, basically, where I'm trying to complete the 92. So if you haven't already subscribed to Max on Tour, there'll be a link in the description. Uh, please do go and subscribe. That really does help me out. Also, last little plug to so OneFootball. Big shout out to them. The best football and app you need on a match day for all your news, fixture news, league tables, articles on pretty much everything whether you sport Villa, England, whoever, download one football. top link in the description, fantastic app. But without further ado, please Villa, please do something tonight of the Villa. What are we saying son? Leicester 2, Villa 1, look what happens, we'll give it a real go to our lobby, we do against your cities, United, like whatever, and we will lose 2-1. The problem is, we'll go to Newcastle in a few weeks and lose 3-0. Like, uh, I don't know. We have to get something yeah. tonight. We have you know, to I'll get take something tonight. This is a good side. Yes, I know people need so many to win and get out of there. A point. They're third in the league, for God's sake. They're a good side. They're a good side. I like the team. Yeah, Elmo's yeah, in. Four at the back. Yeah. We've got I'm plenty to come on if there's yeah. any issues. El Garza, yeah. Trez. Yeah. One, one. We lose, we lose. Yeah. One, one. I'll go two, one last time. One, one. Come on, the Villa. thrown into this. It's not looking great. We don't offer too much of a threat. It's, it's, it's not looking great. Half an hour in. I mean, get to half time at nil nil. I mean, get to half time at nil nil. I mean, get to half time at nil nil. Where's Pepe gone? That is useless. I would have started Nyland. Where's Rainer gone? Dreadful. Um, we've offered nothing. Nothing at all. Um, yes, Rainer has made an awful mistake. And that's why I would have started Nyland because he's done nothing wrong. Um, Rainer's not even close to the ball. Um, but even before that, we should be 2-3 down, because from set pieces, we are dreadful. Um, I, don't, I don't know what's going on, is, me, is Ming's being a zonal marker? I have no idea. But, 
it's embarrassing because the individual mistakes is what it's going to cost us at the end of the season when we do go down. It's just embarrassing. It's embarrassing. We've offered nothing going forward. Some asset looks isolated. We've got nothing. Grealish looks average. Midfield is nowhere to be seen. Uh, we are rubbish, guys. First ten minutes we look lively and we just stop by it. We should be about four 0 down. It's embarrassing. It is rubbish. It's, it's a, it looks a little bit better than the, the, what I saw at Southampton, but just we've got nothing, we've got nothing going forward, and it's embarrassing. It's an individual error, yes, but we could be three four 0 down. Do something, Villa. We had a shot. Good start, boys. Come on. Goal. Oh wow. <laughs> what? Why is that a penalty? Oh god. He's handballed it. Brilliant. Well done. I mean, they're checking it. It looked like he handballed it, guys. I'm not sure who it was, but they're checking it. Handball. Brilliant. Penalty Leicester. Jamie Vardy will score. Here we go. 2 0. Thank you. Good nice. Corner, have we got a corner? No, we haven't. Brilliant. Yeah, we had a shot. Look at the scenes. Look at the scenes. We had a shot. Come on, boys. Jesus, this is embarrassing. <laughs> oh, God. I mean, what do you sort of say after that? <laughs> I've been fairly positive this season in terms of, you know, being behind Dean Smith and the players and positive that we are going to stay up but last night was the first time where I genuinely thought like nah that is us finished like there is no way we can play like that and stay up no 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 way on this earth because defensively we're all at sea um Mings overplays with the ball a lot I think the fullbacks were dodgy and look disinterested a lot of the time um, midfield we don't have a midfield I've had up to here with Louise because he's doing my head in because he is yeah, he's a flair player when we've got the ball and he could be brilliant in Guardiola's side, fantastic, but he's not in a Guardiola side. He's in a side that's in a relegation scrap and he doesn't look interested. Um, the Camber looks okay, I think he was alright, nothing special, but on the wing we look pretty useless. Elmo's not a Premier League winger by any stretch of the imagination. Grealish looks average, but you can't really complain because he's allowed to have an off day and he's not going to carry 11 useless players. Um, Samata was isolated all game, you can't really blame him. Um, when El Ghazi came on, I can't remember where, where, I can't remember whether it was the second, third, or fourth goal. I lost count, to be honest. Um, Johnny Evans made a great tack on the edge of Leicester's box, and then Al Ghazi just put like a wet foot in and didn't really go in for the tackle. Like he looked weak and he looked disinterested. Leicester got the other end, lots of urgency, and they score. Um, even when Leicester were four 0 up, they looked like the, the side that had more urgency. They looked like they were chasing the game, but they were four 0 up. Villa just looked disinterested, they look like a broken team. Dean Smith's comments after the game were utterly ridiculous, saying that he thought we you know, were organised and he thought you know, the fight was there because there was no fight there. People say we're in a relegation fight. There's no fight, we're just relegated, that's the thing. Norwich could easily go above us because they look like they have more fight. They beat Tottenham at their own ground the other day. No chance, could I ever see Villa doing that? No. Um, yeah, I'm maybe being a little bit harsh, but I'm sorry, I've been fairly positive so far this season. That's the turning point because it was that bad. Um, there's probably a load of rival fans watching this and laughing, and you know, there was lots of Leicester fans giving it big, saying you're going down, and yeah, fair play to them because we are. We were that bad, we we're embarrassing. Um, 
you know, if, if people left like the game, you saw the as empty seats, fair play, I don't care. You paid your ticket, you can do what you want. I wouldn't be surprised. You walked out early, it's a Monday night. We've travelled all that way and we've been let down because we were dreadful. Um, fair play, a couple of the players came over. Grealish, Reina, um, although we did make that horrendous error. Mings came over, but the rest of the players, they walked off. They couldn't give a toss about the fans, which is fine. Um, where do we go from here? Because we've got an easy run of fixtures coming up. Chelsea, Wolves, United, Arsenal. Um, but yeah, I think I'll do a video in the week talking about, you know, all of Villa and, you know, the relegation scrap and things like that and why I think we're going to get relegated because I do. I do think we're going to get relegated, unfortunately. Um, and I'll see you all at Oxford next season. But, you know, leave your thoughts in the comments below. I know I've gone on a bit, but I just wanted to express my thoughts. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please do leave a like. Uh, it might have been a bit negative what I've said there, but honestly, that's just, you know, truths had to be said. Um, so thank you very much for watching. Subscribe if you are new. Keep the faith of the Villa.